Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a video in my declutter series. I have filmed this in 2017 so I know it's not going up before 2018 but this is the intro for every video so if you have seen before that's why I have used the same intro for every video. And a main thing in this declutter series is that I'm not getting rid of a lot but I have accumulated a big bag that I have now given to friends and family and my three cousins really really loved it and my mom and my aunt actually got some too. So I have a bit left and that is the items that is that are too dark for my friends and family. So I just need to find the right person and give it to her but they will not be counted in my makeup inventory that I am going to do after the series. Um, and if you want a makeup collection tour or setup or something, please let me know down below. So yeah, this is my declutter series. I hope you enjoy and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on all of the videos I have planned out. And yeah, please like, comment and subscribe and then I will see you next time. Bye guys! So these are my powders, concealers and eye primers and then I have a setting spray that I'm not going to get rid of. This is my W7, the, the matte fixer. I'm almost done with this one but it is in a project so I'm not going to get rid of it. So I'm just going to sort this out and then we can go back to decluttering. I love myself a powder from W7, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep my Women's Day Matte powder. I love that one as well, and I'm panning it. My Beau Pochoir Healthy Balance powder. I do like that one as well, and it is pressed. I love my pressed powders, and I go through them, so I'm keeping those. These are my loose powders. I do like this one um, because it's more yellow toned, so I'm going to keep that one. My W7 set it up and my W7 Feather Dreams, all translucent, even though this is pink, white, and yellow. I'm only on the fence because I don't really enjoy loose powders that much, but I do love this one. I don't gravitate towards this one because it's pink, <laughs> but it, it has kind of the same effect, you know? I'm going to get rid of the Feather Dreams one only because I think it does the same thing, um, and I more like want to use a white or a Yellow. So I'm going to get rid of that one and then I'm going to keep the, this one because I really really need to see if I can bake with this one because then it will be a nice one. My eye primers, I'm not going to get rid of any and I know that is so annoying to hear. My Suiva eyeshadow fix primer is almost gone. My MDK eyeshadow primer potion is almost gone as well. I'm planning this one at the moment. And my W7, I got the power. I love these. They're different. This one is very similar to my Suiva one, so I don't want to get rid of that one because it's yellow toned, it covers my veins and my eyes. This is so unique because it is like a color tattoo, you know, back to the bones. It's kind of like that, but it is primer. So that is so awesome. So I'm going to keep this one. And this one is very, very similar to the primer potion because this is clear and this is just very very nice because it's more brightening so it's more white-ish yeah i'm not going to get rid of any just because i love them all so my mascaras okay this one is these three is open so i can't get rid of these ones i have not tried these two i love this one so i'm not going to get rid of that one this is the maybelline last sensational mascara i love 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 this stuff so i'm not going to get rid of that one I'm going to test out this one from W7. It is the absolute lashes. It should be a dupe for the benefit they're real. And I got this in an advent calendar. It is so dirty. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to get rid of any because this is almost done. And these two are quite nice for just mascaras, everyday mascaras. I'm not going to get rid of them because I don't know how they perform. And I love this one. So because I'm not going to get rid of that much in the other categories, I'm going to add this section to the, the video. It is my cream shadows and as you can see there is a lot. They are different colors. Believe me, they are really they, they are different colors. So 
I have a lot, I know, and some of you might think, oh my god, you have so much and how are you going to go through them all? Um, in some way, some very strange way, I'm going to, like, I'm going through them rather quickly so I don't really see it as a problem. And I'll use cream shadows every single time I do my makeup um, because I just don't function without them. <laughs> it's so sad, but I really don't. So, this is my cream shadow collection right now. Okay, so I'm not going to get rid of any of my making color to choose. Um, this one is in permanent taupe. I love this in my eyebrows, so it really should be in the eyebrow category. But that is only because I can use it as both. But I'm going to use it as a brow product, so I'm not going to get rid of that because that is my only brow product in that kind of way. Um, but yeah, and this is like a metallic pomegranate. It's like pomegranate punk or something in the United States. Then I have creme de nude and on and on bronze that I am panning in, in a project. So I'm keeping those because these are the ones I know I can go through in like 3-4 to four months, uh, maybe 5 if I don't use them every day. I'm not keeping these just because they don't work for me. They sting my eyes, this one at least, and that is the most pretty one, it is the light one. They sting my eyes, it is the W7 Metal Eyes. They are so pretty um, because they are metallic glitter cream shadows. That is so pretty oh, on top of other shadows, but they don't, just don't work for me, so I'm going to get rid of these. I just got these in NYX Lingerie cream shadows, eye tints it's called. So I have a gold, a red one and then a green one. I'm going to keep these just just because I love them. I haven't tried them on my eyes, I've only swatched them and played with them with colors on my hand. So I'm going to do a video on these on my Danish channel because they have requested it. I love my eye dreams from W7. They are cream shadows like in this format, you know. They are so pretty and I have some darker ones and then I have some light ones and then I have a purple-ish one. They are so pretty and I use them all the time. I mostly use these three though. These are my most recent W7 ones. It is my W7 Golden Eyes. They are so pretty. They are so similar to these ones but they are so different at the same time. I know it sucks but I don't. I'm not going to get rid of any. So just like all so just like all the other videos I have forgotten the product this is my NYX Jumbo eye pencil in milk and I'm of course keeping this one because I don't have any white bases I love this stuff so much so this is of course staying so it's not really exciting but I thought I would share with you anyway For some people this is madness I do know that and I know I should have gotten rid of more like the same colors and stuff like that. Look. They're so pretty I'm not I don't want to. There's something in me that says I need to get rid of these color golden eyes. They look like these colors way too much. The final decision is that I'm going to get rid of these three. They are so similar to my eye dreams. I don't know if you saw the swatches, but they are so similar. I hate myself. I'm getting so anxious because I love them so much. I love my cream shadows and I have so hard of a time to get rid of them. So that's my final decision. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please stick around on my channel for more anxiety and stress and declutters and for Japan. Mm -hmm.